In the clinic, when you notice an asymmetric positive ulnar nerve tension test, it's often very useful to assign your patient an ulnar, ulnar nerve self-mobilization technique for the home. So what, the way we do that is, again, we want to pre-position Ilana's head slightly side flexed to the left, so we add some uh, pre-position tension uh, on her uh, peripheral nerve roots right there. And then what we want to do is just have her abduct her arm to 90 degrees, okay? And then I'm going to have her start with this pincer grip, okay? Like, kind of like you're saying, okay. What I want her to do is bring the, the, the little circle back toward her face and then upside down and then cover her eye. So basically we're getting that wrist extension and that's going to cause some stress on the ulnar nerve right through the elbow flexion all the way through the, uh, the wrist extension and we get a little bit of that ulnar deviation in there too. So we have her come out of that. Good, and repeat. And Alana, you can continue doing this. As she does this, uh, we want to monitor that she, she has her proper form and technique so we can translate this to her home program. She can repeat this about 10 to 15 times or for about 30 seconds and then repeat bouts uh, of this exercise.